Corporations have chosen to abuse our temporary measures, exploiting foreign workers while refusing to, to hire Canadians for a fair wage. All while, under the watch of provinces, some colleges and universities are bringing in more international students than communities can accommodate, treating them as an expendable means to line their own pockets. That's unacceptable, and it needs to change. Businesses should no longer rely on cheap foreign labour. My message to them is that there is no better time to hire and invest in Canadian workers. Our international student cap is dealing with exploitative colleges and universities, but all institutions need to take it upon themselves to be more responsible. And every step of the way, we need provinces and territories to work closely with us. Sound me along. I'm coming, I'm coming up. Hi guys, it's William Harry here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing today and how is your day going? I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So today, I um, want to talk about, you know, more changes concerning immigration. So guys, um, I believe you all already listened to that video. Um, that was the Prime Minister of Canada, Trudeau, um, Justin Trudeau. Um, so yeah, he announced himself and the immigration minister. So but for that video, it was uh, the Prime Minister talking about how um they want to reduce the rate so at first we thought they were actually only you know trying to reduce international students we know that okay generally they want to reduce the intake of immigrants right uh, we thought maybe they were focusing only just on international students but now um foreign workers have added <laughs> or have joined the list of um pathways they are trying to use to reduce the inflow of immigrants so yeah so um that was um, the prime minister talking about how they want to implement measures to reduce the rate of um, foreign workers. So we're going to talk more about this. And um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just also going to show you another video from the immigration minister himself. Then we will come back and, you know, talk more about it. And if, if this is your first time here, um, do not, do not hesitate to click on your subscribe button to join our beautiful growing channel. And um, also set your notification bell so that whenever I upload any weekly content, you will get notified. And for those that are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, guys. So why don't you sit back and listen to this video from the immigration minister. When it comes to Canada's permanent immigration targets, uh, and aligning them to our economic needs. Uh, I'm here to announce and confirm that the current plan reduces next year's projections from 500,000 permanent residents to 395,000, a net reduction of 105,000 permanent residents immediately in 2025. After that, in 2026, a progression down to 380 to stabilize the numbers at 365 in 2027. The lower permanent resident targets as well as the temporary resident targets that I will speak to in some length uh, in the next few minutes will have and are expected to impact the housing supply gap by about 670,000 units by the end of 2027. That means that we will not have to build an additional 670,000. All right, welcome back, guys. <laughs> okay, I believe you're still there. So what I, what I did was I actually wrote these things down, right? So I'm just going to um, um, summarize everything the Prime Minister and also the Immigration Minister um, talked about concerning this new, um, should I use the word trend, you know, of how they want to reduce the number of um, immigrants in Canada. So this is from the Prime Minister. So he said they are actually cracking down on corporations and colleges that exploit foreign workers and international students. Okay. So they want to put it that way that, you know, they want to crack down those colleges. Okay. We hear you. No problem. That's fine. And um, according to the Immigration Minister, Mark Miller, so it was like, um, you know, they announced the 2024, 2025, sorry, to 2027 immigration level plan. Um, so immigration is essential to our country's economy, which is Canada's economy success and growth. In response to the evolving needs of our country, this plan will pause population growth in the short term to achieve well-mannered, sustainable growth. 
in the long term. We have um, reducing our permanent resident targets for the first time. Okay, for the first time compared to the last year's plan, we are reducing permanent residents from 500,000 to 395,000 in 2025. So from next year and 380,000 in 2026. Then in 2027, they are reducing the targets to 365,000 of permanent residents. And um, the levels plan also outlines the roadmap to reduce temporary residents to 5% of Canada's population by the end of 2026. Canada's temporary population will decrease by 445,901 in 2025. So in 2026, it will reduce to 445,000 1,662 and the modest increase of 70,439 in 2027. So guys, I'm going to read that part again. All right. So, so that, you know, for proper understanding, and that's the reason why I actually um, jotted this down because I want to come here and explain to you, not just to just show you all the video, um, of the prime minister and the immigration minister talking about this so i actually want to also come here to explain for those that really you know really needs to digest this down so i'm just going to start from the targets right what's the what they're looking at um in the reduction or the number of um, immigrants okay so it says we are reducing our permanent residence target for the first time compared to last year's plan we are reducing permanent residence from five hundred thousand. So 395,000 in 2025 and 380,000 in 2026. And in 2027, we're reducing it to 365,000. It says the level plan also outlines the roadmap to reduce temporary residents to 5% of Canada's population by the end of 2026. All right. And Canada's temporary population will decrease by 445,901 445, in 2025, 445,662 in 2026, and the modest decrease of 17,439 in 2027. These reductions are the results of series of changes implemented over the past year, including a cap on international students and tightened eligibility requirements for temporary foreign workers and over 61 percent of permanent residents will be skilled workers supporting um you know various sections like healthcare and trade so this last part for those that haven't seen my last video please go back and watch the video um that video for views it didn't really do well i was so shocked because i thought a lot of people wants to know like the courses they have to study in order for them to be qualified for um, work permits and maybe eventually have you know the number of hours you know work hours they will need for um, any means of PR application so if you haven't seen that video please go back to my last video and um, watch it you you see how I explained and outlined the various uh, various type of um, programs or courses you can study for that work permit so guys so this is it this is the announcement of how they want to reduce the you know the number of immigrants so but you know what after this announcement there has been a lot of reactions like so many people did not really take it well especially the um canadian immigration lawyers council they didn't really take it well because they were like um canada actually do needs immigrants for you know production for um services like for work and all of that to keep the economy going this plan is actually a three-year plan so this is it guys what do you think let me know in the comment section what you think i also saw something about some international students um missing their admission like not resuming school because of um the visa process they couldn't get visa 
Yeah, I think I, I saw the future because I talked about this in, let's say, in my last three or four videos. And I was like, in case you are here and you're supposed to resume in September as an international student and you know you've not gotten your visa, please make sure you contact your school and defer your admission, like move it forward. Because I know most schools here in Canada, they request for either, if not the full um, tuition fee, they can say, okay, pay part of the fee. And if you don't defer your admission, they, I'm not sure the school is going to consider because they didn't give you visa and they will not move your, your partly payment forward. I'm not sure they do that. So that's why then I talked about it. Make sure you contact your school, defer your admission so that they can move um, your admission maybe to the next section or even maybe next September. You know, that way you'll be able to move your partly paid money as well, you know, so you won't lose anything. But if you didn't do that and you're in this category of people that missed the admission because of um, no visa yet, sorry about that. So, guys. That is it all. Let me know in the comment section. And for um, international students, like you, you want to study medicine or you like to study medicine, um, Doug Ford announced <laughs> that from 2026, they will ban inter they will ban international students from studying medicine in Ontario. So better yet, this now if you have that in your plan or you know anyone that has that in their plan. And they wish to study that in Canada, they should look at all that provisions because they are going to start that from 2026 to ban international students from studying medicine. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this video? Uh, please let me know in the comments section. Is it a good plan um, or is it going to affect you or anyone you know? Let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. For my first timers here, please do not forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for doing that. Please let me know in the comment section after you subscribe so I can personally say thank you. And um, set your notification bells to get notified whenever any of our video comes up. And for my returning subscribers, thank you all so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. And please, guys, do not forget to like. I've been saying this. Comment, okay? And um, share the videos, all right? Please like, okay? Because when you like, is um. YouTube is going to, you know, make when, 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 let me, let me tell you guys something. So even if, okay, after watching, you don't want to share, but if you comment, if you like, like if you keep the video busy, you know, it's going to get to YouTube algorithm and they're going to, okay, this is very important. And they'll make it like reach out to other people that might need the information, you know, I know what that means to us. It's going to bring more people to this channel and go, we're going to get more family members. All right, guys. So please do that for me. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. Have a good day and stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. And for those that haven't watched my Thanksgiving vlog, it's a very two, three minutes vlog. Please check it out. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye for now and stay safe. Mwah. Thank you.